Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I am here with another small shop haul. I absolutely love doing these videos. I have a whole playlist on my channel for them, but especially with the day this video is gonna be going up is uh, small shop Saturday or small business Saturday. I thought that this would be a really nice time to go ahead and highlight some small shops in the community. Um, this is a really, really great way to be supporting people, especially as we're going into the holidays. And um, I just am a huge fan of small businesses in the diamond painting community. So I'm going to have all of these shops and their socials and whatnot linked below in the description box. So please go and check them out. Even if you're not looking to make a purchase right now, I'm harding a shop on Etsy or um, joining their Facebook group or following them on, on Instagram are all really wonderful and free ways that you can be supporting them and also staying up to date with what their new releases are, especially if you're kind of, nothing catches your eye right now, but you kind of want to follow and see if they have something later that does. Now, I do have one brand new to me, small shop, um, that has been highly, highly requested and I have been meaning to buy from for quite some time uh, that we'll take a look at probably first. And then I have a ton ton of pens. So if you are here for diamond painting pens, um, this is the video for you. I also have a really giant box out of frame over here uh, that has, it'll make more sense why, uh, but it just, it wouldn't quite fit in frame. And so I'll pull that in later. But the, I, I always like to kind of, when I think of it, start start off with shops that are new to me. And so like I said, I have one of those um, this week and, or this video, I don't post these every week. Um, <laughs> but I, I do have one of these that I, I'm excited to, to kick off with a new to me shop. Okay, shift all these things out of the way. Speaking of, if you own a small shop or you know of a small shop that you would like for me to try out, uh, I am always, always open to suggestions. And I always try to make note of them. And I I like to make purchases from small shops. I'm not asking anyone to send me anything um, for free because that is part of why why I have my channel is so that I can make sure I'm, I'm supporting others in the community. And um, so yeah, just know that that I'm not I'm not looking for any handouts whatsoever. Uh, and I'll definitely give a shop a follow and try to make a a purchase when I see something that does catch my eye. And sometimes there's a little bit of a delay <laughs> between when I make a purchase and when it is shown on my channel like for example this actually came in at the very beginning of November and but I have a couple of packages in here that are from September and October it just has to do with sort of the, the flow of things but anyway this package you guys is from Firefly Diamond Art I've been asked to try Firefly Fireflies diamond painting trays so many times and honestly the only thing that was um that was taking me some time was that I had decision paralysis because I saw that they had customizable tray lids and lots of other customizable options Ooh, let me I'm gonna move my invoice hold on a second um, and I just could not make a decision to save my life. And then I was finally like, I have to try this shop. I'm dying to try out their trays. So I did place a custom order and I took some ideas from their Facebook group with permission from the person who kind of came up with them. And uh, I'm excited to share them with you today. I think I just did the one customized lid. Let me check. Yeah, I just had the one lid that was customized, but then I got a couple of different shapes and styles so that I can try them all out, see which ones I like best. And then if I like them, I'll do, you know, some more shopping. So anyway, um, here is their business card, Firefly Diamond Art. Matt and Emily Hansen are the owners. You can scan that to visit their website. Ooh, there's a discount code. They also are running, if you're watching this when it's live, I don't know if it's gonna go the whole weekend, but at least for Black Friday, they, maybe Small Business Saturday, I'm not sure. They did have a discount code running. So just a little thank you, thank you card. And then some more little cute freebies in here. There's a little sticker, um, some candies, and I see a roll of, let me see, get that washi tape out. Ooh, a little glittery, sparkly, foiled washi tape. Fun. And okay, so let me see. Let me look at my list here and make sure I'm telling you the names correctly of these different trays. I'll go ahead and start with the one that I had customized. And they do have um, uh, a listing where you can add it as a custom order, but I, you can also contact them. Um, and I did that before placing my order just to make sure I was doing everything right. So, okay, this is an inspired design. They call it their um, uh, sun and star design on the lid. And the size of this tray, this is the Inferno, the Inferno size tray. And they did tell me that for this design that there were particular, um, 
sizes of their trays that they recommended doing it on for the sake of the the design being able to fit. Um, so this is inspired by a particular TV show that I love, uh, which I did have them put quotes on the side that also go with that. So um, if you know, you know, my people skills are rusty. And then on the other side, I did always keep fighting. So um, right off the bat, you guys, this slides off so nicely. I have used other diamond painting trays with sliding lids and they've been really flimsy. This is really sturdy and really smooth. There's the firefly branding on the side. Um, so this one, uh, there's a spout here at the end that you pour out from. And then this, is this removable? It is, you guys, this little compartment. This is the first company I've seen do a little, like you could put trash drills or like maybe wax storage or something or your minder. I don't know, you could put kind of anything in there, but it is removable, which is nice. There's even a spot on the bottom. Oh, it says push, nice. Oh, and it says the drill, um, sorry, the tray style on the back too. So this is the Inferno. And so you just pop that right out. And then this is a spot you can put a pen in. You put the single end in there and it holds your pen. This is beautiful. I love the color. And it just feels like a really beautifully made tray. And like, I'm telling you, I've had trouble with sliding lids on uh, trays with some, you know, that have the lids like this before and that was just so easy that is so nice and refreshing <laughs> okay so i got two other styles that i didn't add any customization to but like i said i really wanted to try um sorry i'm checking my my little listing there to make sure i tell you the right sizes even though apparently it's gonna say just on on the trays but yeah i wanted to try three different styles and i had kind of looked at some comparison photos to see what sizes like how big some of these were um, because I do like a bigger tray. I like to multi-place. And so this one is the Ignite size. And it also it has the lid. Also slides off. And uh, this one is a little bit smaller than the Inferno by comparison. This is more like a deck of cards size, I'd say. Maybe a little longer than a deck of cards. But similar style. Uh, this part is not removable, but it is a spot you could put trash drills or whatnot. This filament is mermaid. And so there's like a color a color gradient to it. Glitter at the bottom. Again, it's just really clean and nice. Ooh. What is this? That's right. What does this do, you guys? I know it does something. That's... Oh, okay. Okay. So you pull it out and it opens the spout. It's a built-in, like, spout... Uh, closing feature <gasps> that is handy I love that it's just included and it's not a separate part that you have to um that you have to like stick in and out does this one have it too you guys I miss that so the um the inferno has it too same thing that is a really handy feature I'm a fan okay I love it all right so then there was that one and then last but not least this one is the um, the Ignite Plus. So this is just the regular Ignite and this is the Ignite Plus. And this one looked, yeah, like this one is longer. And like I said, I do a lot of multi-placing and so I want a bigger tray. And I'm very, very excited to actually try these out and see how the drills line up in them. Okay, so this one right away, I see it has the built-in feature as well. It's sliding really smoothly, as is that lid. And so color okay the name of this color is mermaid I like that with the blue to purple I love that so much same thing this isn't removable but it is a spot you could put you know trash drills or whatnot if you wanted and then we have the lid again which is again it feels really sturdy it's not flimsy and it just really slid right on there with no effort whatsoever I love it, you guys. I cannot wait, I'm so happy. And I have a kit that I wanna work on that this is going to coordinate and accessorize perfectly with. I'm so happy. And once I decide which tray style I really do like best, I'm gonna go just crazy with ordering lots of customs. Now they do make them to order and they put up front on their website what their turnaround time looks like. And so I wanna say it was a few weeks, but I didn't mind, like they, I knew it was custom made and made to order and they're really popular. So I was not mad, <laughs> it was completely fine. So um, thank you so much to Firefly for working with me to like do the custom tray and for just making these trays. I'm really excited to use those. So anyway, you guys, um, the big box that I have out of frame is uh, what I'm gonna open next and it's from Enablers Outpost and inside was, I did a custom order of some pens from them and um, I saw that they had this new storage accessories case on their website and it looked like it had 
it looked like it had storage containers that I have been kind of curious to try anyway. So it came as this big suitcase style case. Wow, okay, yeah, no, I do not have room and frame for this. Hold on just a second. I'll just move this stuff <laughs> just so I could show you this really quick. Um, and they had said that when they posted about it on their Instagram, that it's the kind of like shiny top. It's kind of a light pink, really light pink in, uh, in person. Um, that it's like you could do like decals and stuff on it, which I was like, oh, that's so fun. Okay, so there's a thing on the back in case, I guess, <laughs> if you want to travel with it. Um, that's really nice. I want to look at these, these storage containers in here. Okay. So it's, I've, I've had a suitcase set kind of similar to this where it's got the foam insert and it has the jars, like the screw top jar lids. But these, you guys, these are like the Tic Tac style containers, but they are different. They are a lot, they're like double wide from Tic Tac sizes and these are a lot less <laughs> finicky to open. I'm very, very, very curious to try this kind of storage solution. And there's two layers of them in here. Um, are they all the same size? I think they are. Yeah, yeah, the top and the bottom layers are the same size. And I feel like that looks like it's gonna hold a good amount of diamonds. There's plenty of space on the on the tops here for you to put labels for symbols. Um, and it holds so many, I feel like it'd be good for, you know, a cross stitch conversion or a kit that has a lot of colors. That's kind of where I've used these sort of suitcase style storage sets before. So I'm, like I said, I honestly mostly just really want to try out these storage containers because I'm always trying to try out new things and see if I like them. Um, so I don't know. I have a kit that I kind of want to kit up that maybe I will try these out. I am noticing interesting there are numbers really faint here on the tops of some of these containers they're not in necessarily a particular order and i don't know it's like these both say nine on them so i wouldn't rely on that for anything i just noticed it and i thought i would mention it so anyway i think that they had several different styles of like suitcase available on the website not just the pink one but of course you know me i grabbed the pink one <laughs> uh but let me shift things again. I'm just gonna leave that out of frame, you guys, okay? Um, for sake of ease. <laughs> but I also ordered with them. I had been working with them for a while on a custom order for some pens. And yes, Enablers Outpost does do custom orders um, for their pens. And it did take a little bit of time to go back and forth, but to be fair, I made a point of telling them, please don't rush. I know you guys are so incredibly busy. Um, and I'm not in a huge rush, but what I had done is there were a few pens that they had released in past weeks that I missed out on, in part because they do their weekly releases on Saturday mornings, and I, it's a little earlier than I typically get up, and I finally had just taken some screenshots, and um, a little, little thank you note on the, on the front there. Um, I, I, took, I took some screenshots, and I was like, okay, so you guys do custom orders, like, can are any of these pens that you feel like you could remake? And they said, absolutely. And I said, okay, awesome, no rush, don't don't stress about it, but this would be amazing. Um, so we got, oh, we got some like goodies included, some stickers, some candy, thank you. And then I got three different pens, so I'm really excited to share these with you. So first I have this one that is like uh, pink to purple with uh, flakes in it. It's so pretty, I already can see it. And they did send them to me, um, pictures to me ahead of time to make sure that matched what I was looking for, which was really nice too. Uh, so there's this pen. It's so pretty. And I did get to pick, I'm pretty sure I got to pick the turning styles too, or I might've said dealer's choice. So, so pretty. And then this one, I love a good neutral. And I had seen this one uh, released a couple of times and I was like, that's one I'm really regretting missing out on. So this one is black with these silver swirls and these amazing glitter flakes. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning, you guys. And then this one is just pastel rainbow goodness. Oh my gosh. I can never have enough rainbow pens. I'm so excited. Let me, if I can get this open. And they did include those thin plastic multi-placers here as well. I'll pop those on later. But look at this one. It's like a light rainbow and then there's gold flakes in it. 
I love it. It's so happy. And they did an amazing job with these. Oh my gosh, this was completely worth the wait. Enablers Outpost, they do customs and they do weekly drops. And these are absolutely fantastic. Yay. Thank you so much to Edward and Elizabeth over at Enablers Outpost. Loved getting to work with you and um, make those happen and support your small shop. And I'll be trying out those accessories soon too. All right. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five packages over there are pens. This is the last package that is not pens. This is from Simply Gilded. And I'm trying to remember when I picked this up. Well, they did a sale at one point that I, I jumped on. And um, I need to make more space and frame here. Okay. <laughs> I'm writing this struggle bus today. Okay, so they were running some kind of sale. I don't remember when. This came at the beginning of November. Maybe they just had a release that had really, really pretty colors that I loved. Let me take a look at my invoice. Try to refresh my memory here. I oh, know, I think they were just maybe running a sale I wanted. Oh, I think they restocked. That's what it was. They restocked some of their Halloween washi, which I know Halloween has passed, but there was some of this I loved enough that I knew I'd want to get it for next year. Um, so, and then I picked up some others while I was at it. All right, so this one, or these ones here. So I like this kind of haunted woods one. Why am I not remembering? Was this a free roll? I'm not remembering what that one is. Huh. Um, you guys, I don't remember what this one was. I'm trying to see what's on there. Are those rolls of washi tape in there? I think it might be. Yeah, I think that that must have been like a freebie that was included, but I thought this one would be cute for Christmas and this one was just moody and fun. And then I got, this was a Halloween restock with the little ghosties. I like the colors in this one. And then the Christmas lanterns I thought would be so perfect for the upcoming like winter and holiday season. I thought that was so just so pretty. I have a pumpkin lanterns variation from them that I adore. And then I have, okay. So this one I think was the Wednesday mansion. I thought was really like fun and spooky. And then these pastel pump rainbow pumpkins. Amazing. And then I picked this one up with my cross stitch conversion of Loki, Loki in mind. I ended up using a different border for the washi tape that also has green and gold, but this, I just thought, you know, if I find other like Loki kits to work on down the road that are licensed, I will keep that handy and use that. So yay for a washi haul. If you're curious, by the way, about like how, why, where, when do you use washi tape for diamond painting? I'll do my best to remember to link to a video that I did specifically um, on that topic where I explain it, but I just, I also love collecting it. <laughs> what do they say? Like doing the craft and collecting accessories for the craft craft are two different things. Um, Simply Gilded always sends a little sampler freebie. That's really pretty, including this little bow washi. And then this is a little journaling card. So that's my washi haul. The rest of this, you guys, we have pens and pens for days. Okay. This poor lace and lathe work pen is from September 29th. So <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and do that one. Um, I don't even remember. Do I remember what this one is now? I don't remember. Uh, Lace and Lead Works has incredibly budget-friendly pens and uh, drops on Etsy as well as does weekly blank drops on in their Facebook group as well. And, oh, that's right, guys. <sighs> That's right. Okay, so I grabbed two pens from Etsy because he started listing his uh, his hybrids in his Etsy, directly to his Etsy shop. Used to do them just on Facebook auction style, but then started doing them on Etsy uh, directly. And I was really, really happy about that. So I'm a sucker for an asymmetrical hybrid, <laughs> which a hybrid is just when there's kind of different materials being used, I believe is the correct use of it. But I, I love this one so much, the pink and purple. It's very lightweight, very, very lightweight. And then um, this one has kind of like the opal and again, kind of the patches of wood throughout. I just thought it was so, 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 so pretty. So um, I'll link to their Facebook group, like I said, where they do their weekly drops and uh, their Etsy shop too, where sometimes they do direct drops to there. So yay, excited for that. <laughs> um, this one is from Norse Alchemist and I also think is older. <laughs> I think it's, I've had it for a while. Um, Norse Alchemist 
do they do drops directly in their Facebook group or is it all on their website and Etsy now? Um, they do have some options for where you can buy a blank and then have it turned like to your request. And then they also sell some listings of already turned pens. I feel like the ones that are already turned are a bit cheaper, understandably so. Um, and so I, I honestly, I don't remember what is in this one. So we're gonna find out together, okay? <laughs> um, all right, just flashed you my address, so I'm cutting that part out. Um, so there's one in here, and I did take a look at the invoice while, while I cut that out. And it looks like I did buy a blank and had it turned in this case. So let's take a look together. <gasps> That's right. Oh my gosh, I saw someone post this pen. Was it Cindy on Instagram? And I was like, I need that for winter. That is so pretty. It's so, 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 so pretty. So it's got like blues and whites and some florals and some ribbon in there. And I love this. It's so delicate and so pretty. So I did have this custom turned. I thought that this turning would look nice with this particular blank. I love how it turned out. Sometimes it's a gamble. I have gotten blanks from them before that I have kind of been a little eh on how the turning turned out. I guess pun intended there. Um, but I am really, really happy with that one. So yay. <laughs> Norse Alchemist is where that one is from. Then I have two boxes here from Swampwood and this one is from October. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember what this one, uh, see, I don't know. Um, Swampwood has started doing a lot more, uh, drops like pen pre-turned pen drops on their website and they still sell so incredibly quickly. The best suggestion I have for getting your hands on a Swampwood pen is to follow them on Instagram and turn on notifications. Um, that is how I stay up to date because he doesn't have like right now established uh, specific like restock times. I just completely destroyed that box in a place it was not meant to be. <laughs> I just stabbed through it. Okay, so um, here we go. He always writes a note on the inside. Seth is the owner. I know I just destroyed this box. This is the only the second time I've used this material. Excellent purchase picks don't do it justice. Which one was this one? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so follow on Instagram and you just have to be so incredibly fast. And I get cart snatched regularly <laughs> over there too because it just, these pens are so gorgeous and sell so quickly. But they're hand turned, so. All right, let me... Like, what was this one? It's been a minute. Okay. He does also sell pen blanks that I know some people will buy and send to a turner, but oh, that's right, you guys. I got this metallic pen. Now he has a few different turning styles that he'll do with his pens. This one's a little simpler, but I thought that the, the blank itself was so stunning that it just, it didn't need a fancy turning at all. It does have these pretty embellishment like rhinestones in the top. I've never, ever, ever had um, these fall out and I've had some of my Swampwood pens for a couple of years now. And this is just so pretty. I love metallics. I mean, you saw a lot of my enablers out, but those pens have, all of them actually had flakes in them. Um, and so this, I just thought would be a really fun, kind of a neutral actually. And I don't know if I've seen him drop this blank again um, since, but that's a really pretty one. He's always making new ones. He's creating new blanks and dropping them. And so you just, you gotta follow him on Instagram. <laughs> this uh, other box is also from Swampwood. It's a different style box. When's this one from? Beginning of November. So not quite as long, as long ago. Um, Sometimes it's just a timing thing, you guys. It's not ever like intentional. I'm not trying to slight any small shops. Um, where is the other opening down here? Okay. Um, okay. And his drops are on a website, like his own website. <clears throat> um, let's take a look. Wow, two very special pens are in this box. I'm thrilled you got them both. I truly hope you love and enjoy them. Okay, so I must have been lucky enough to snag these two. I tend to just buy one at a time because I feel like if I try to add more than one to my cart, there's no way it's gonna it's gonna go through. <laughs> um, so I do have, uh, I must have just gotten lucky enough that I snagged both of these kind of in, in one drop. <laughs> uh, so let me take a look. I think I know which ones these are. Yep. <gasps> Yay. I know, I know, you guys. Um, he did say he's gonna, I think especially going into 2024, be making more pens and trying to do more pen drops because he knows he's, you know, the demand is there. <gasps> this is so pretty. I don't remember the name of this blank, but I just thought it was gorgeous with the colors and the glitter at the top. 
I love all these embellishments. They're so pretty. So there was that one. And then this one I think was similar, but with like pink. <laughs> Let me take a look. Uh, without cutting my own hand or hurting the pen. Hold on. There it is. I think I just rip it. Ah, we'll just do that. <gasps> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one I had to have gone for first. <laughs> so pinks and purples and the glitter at the top. This is a showstopper. I love it. I just, I can't even pick a favorite pen shop. These are all fantastic pen turners and do absolutely amazing things. And I just, yes, I have a huge pen collection. I cannot believe how many pens are in this video. This might be the small shop haul with like the most pens that I've ever had in, in one small shop haul. Uh, and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> um, let me see this last one, you guys. This is from Butterfly Effect Wares. And Butterfly Effect Wares is uh, a shop that they make really gorgeous pens too. And they do drops weekly. And the, um, I follow them on Facebook and on Instagram. And they'll usually, they'll preview. Let me make sure my invoice is you. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Don't cheat my invoice. Um, they will preview the blank on their social media first and um often a coordinating putty that's going to go with it and then a little bit later in the week they'll start showing turned pens and then they do their releases on saturday and usually saturday morning they'll put up a post that has all of the pens that are turned for you so you can kind of decide what you want to go for so this one ha is like gold <laughs> and i always get i almost always get the coordinating putty because it's cheaper to add it on to the pen it's just right there in the listing to add on the putty and i do really like their putty I include a sticker um it i'll show you really quick too i use putty in my multi-placer almost exclusively and i have used butterfly effect wears putty a number of times before and it works well I, for me at least a lot of it depends on just sort of um how you diamond paint but this has uh some fun colors in it and i like the glitter in it too so they always do fun little patterns and stuff with their putty what's it smell like i can't tell i don't know how i would name that but it's it smells good um, all right, let's take a look at the pen. Oh, there was a sucker included too. <laughs> Give that to my kiddo. Actually, that's a flavor, that's a flavor he doesn't like. I might have to have that one myself. But they even like will theme their tissue paper and their stickers sometimes, which is cute. Tell me what, all these different pen shops have something different and fun to offer. And I love it. <gasps> Yay. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, this golden one. This was from a few weeks back. And... Apparently this, this small shop haul is just the haul for all the sparkly pens. This is so pretty and I feel like it'll be so nice for the holidays. I love it. Oh, I'm gonna have to do an updated pen stash video for you guys sometime because I mean, just this video alone, I've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pens to my stash in this video. I'm gonna need some more pen storage, but oh my gosh, this was so, 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 so fun, my friends. I have a lot here that I am beyond excited for. Um, I cannot wait to try out these Firefly trays. I am so excited to try those out. Um, some fun new washi from Simply Gilded. I have that new storage set from Enablers Outpost that's out of frame that I'm gonna use in an upcoming kit, I hope. And then all the pens. So we had Norris Alchemist. These three were from Swampwood. This was Butterfly Effect Wears. These three were from Enablers Outpost, a custom order. And these two were from Laysen Lathe Works. So take a look down in the description box for links to all of these shops and their socials and all the things. Go show some small shops some love this weekend. And, um, you know, not just this weekend, but always. <laughs> small shop owners are just, they, they pour their hearts and souls and their time into their craft and I just love that we get to enjoy it as part of, of our diamond painting and crafting experience so um you guys thanks so much for watching let me know like I said if you own a small shop or know of a small shop you would like for me to take a look at and try out um or check out again I know there's some shops that maybe it's been a couple of years since I bought from them or showcased them and maybe they offer something new um I you can leave it in a comment on this video or send me an email is the other best way to let me know about that kind of thing but um thank you again for watching feel free to check out my small shop haul playlist if you'd like to see uh, other shops that I featured on my channel before and yeah you guys feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content and see future small shop hauls as well all right my friends i hope you have a day that is as wonderful as you are and i'll chat with you in the next one bye